here, I'll take a look at the velocity vectors um, and check if the, you know, in the trailing edge region that the flow is uh, going in the forward direction and there is no reverse flow. And as you get closer to stall, as the angle of attack increases, you're going to see, you know, a, a separation of the trailing edge and that's not a good thing. In CFD post, I will highlight, you know, this window, view two, by, by clicking on it, by double clicking on, or actually single clicking on it. And I will say, I'll turn off the velocity magnitude contours there and add vectors. I'll say velocity vectors. Again, I want it over symmetry one. And I played around with the settings. Um, reduction factor means that it'll plot, if it's one, it'll plot it at every vertex. I want it to plot only at every third vertex because we have a, you know, otherwise you're gonna get too many vectors. And I played around with the symbol size too. Um, I said I want smaller symbols. You can see the effect of these um, by, you know, by turning them off and on. And if I say apply here, um, so I, I see very small vectors. And what I did was I, I also normalized the symbols. So I said, you know, just give me vectors of equal length. Don't make them proportional to the velocity magnitude. And then I said apply. And if I zoom into the trailing edge, okay, I do see that the flow is in the forward direction, which is, uh, which is a good thing. But I can see that because of this adverse pressure gradient, right, the pressure is increasing as the fluid particle is coming along here. And, and because of that, because of the slowing down, you know, more and more of the flow is affected, uh, normal to the wall is affected by the, the viscous shear and, um, and and so you get this thickening of the boundary layer. There is an adverse pressure gradient on the lower um, surface too, but it's not as um, as high as on the upper surface. And so you can see that here, you know, the 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 flow jumps from zero to uh, a fairly large value in in a very short distance. So you don't see that thickening of the boundary layer effect. Uh, on the on the lower surface